And again, Mayor Adams is pretty much acting like, well, you know, this is normal turnaround. No, it is not normal for the FBI to come see all your top starters in your administration. It is not normal, sir. And again, when, when we got started, I remember you saying, oh, we got all this chocolate. And it was kind of woozy when he said this chocolate and we've got to work together. And look, well, under the chocolate, we, the New York can't go to, to the wayside, okay? We've got to do something about this, Mayor Adams, because you can't go down in history as a one-term mayor, maybe a, the first mayor, well, I don't want to say it's the first mayor to resign because I'm not sure, but uh, the, we would definitely be the first black mayor to resign. We've already had Dinkins that was a one-term mayor. So we can't look at this is that when black people get a hold of what's going on, you got the black Bronx, um, the, the borough president, um, you got the, uh, you got everybody of color in some places, women, color, Hispanics looks good. But now what's our, what, what's, what's going on in our city, right? So this starts, I want to say that this starts this was the interesting part about my synopsis, my new American perspective for today, because this really started uh, back when um, Mayor Adams, remember Mayor Adams had got a little upset about the migrants. First, he told the migrants, come on in. New York City is a sanctuary city. I want you to come here, him and... Uh, Chicago mayor and a couple of other black mayors, they got up there. They thought they was doing something. But what I, what I believe is that he thought that the, the city was going to come to his rescue, right? You know, oh, you know, we'll take in the migrant sanctuary city. Then he started taking them in and then they started running in. And then the Texas mayor, Abbott, he said, OK, I got something for that. I got something for y'all who want to invite the migrants in that are running to our border saying that you invited them in. I'm going to start sending the buses your way and you can go ahead and take care of this problem. And I won't even talk about it anymore. If you want the migrants, I'm going to send them to New York. New York. Then Mayor Adams was like, oh, 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 wait a minute. They're sending these buses up to me and dropping these migrants off in the middle of Port Authority and telling us, good luck. Wait a minute. So there was, you know, um, a lack of empathy for the Texas folks who were trying to sound the alarm that we got to close the borders because these people are just coming in the thousands by the day. But then you opened your mouth, Mayor Adams, and said, bring them our way. And then we got them. And then that basically tore apart our hotel industry in New York because we had to house migrants uh, during the pandemic. You know, they put migrants in all kinds of four star hotels, four hundred dollars a night. You know, the migrants didn't want they food and all that good stuff. Right. And then. Mayor Adams said, whoa, whoa, whoa. The city is about to go bankrupt with all these people. We can't handle it. We need some help. We need some overhaul from the federal government. This is not our problem. He started, you know, he got up, you know, strong and tall. I guess somebody that had aspirations, had aspirations of becoming the president. Oh, I'm going to go up to the White House and I'm going to tell the White House, this is what we doing and this is how we doing it. How'd that work out for you, Mayor Adams? Because according to what I saw, when you went to the White House, the White House sent the dogs to New York and started taking down your people. They first took down his top fundraiser that had been in the camp that had been uh, there for a long time. So they raided her house while he was on the plane going to um, D.C., letting him know, this is how this works, my man. You want to sit over here and tell us that, you know, we don't got it going on and, and all of this and all of that. You want to sit there and tell us that? Raid, FBI come seeing him. We know that you moving a little funny over there. 
We heard a couple things that we kept it under wraps because you had the migrants under control or so you asked to have the migrants under control, but now raid. Okay, so Mayor Adams shoots back to New York. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, you know, she might have, she might have, um, Put a couple extra zeros on the end of that, but that's no problem. So we took him for his word. There ain't nobody arrest him. He ain't got no charges going on or nothing like that. We took him for his word. But now, after that, it just hasn't stopped. And so we went from looking at whether he helped some folks from Turkey uh, get their buildings done, expedited their stuff, whether they paying him under the table to all the rest of this. So there is definitely something going on in this camp and we got to find out what's going on. But the, the truth is, so after the other seven, eight people then resign, Mayor Adams said, I'm not resigning. I don't know if you're thinking about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break right here real quick on Millennium News 24 and come back with the New America Perspective. Talk about what we got to do in New York. New York, New York, the big city of dreams. But everything in New York ain't always what it seems. This is the New American Perspective. This is your host, Jania Butler, and I'm here on Millennium News 24, and we'll be right back.